For our final example, we will show that if G is a finite group and P is a CeeLo P subgroup of G with P normal in G, then P is characteristic in G. Recall that a CeeLo P subgroup of G for some prime P dividing the order of G is a largest subgroup of G of order P to the R for some R at least 1. So fix a prime P dividing the order of G. Then CeeLo theory says that any two CeeLo P subgroups of G are conjugate in G. In other words, if we have two CeeLo P subgroups of G, P and Q, for a fixed prime P, there exists an element X in G such that Q equals X P X inverse. But now note that in our case, X P X inverse equals P for all elements X of our group, as P is normal in G. This is a definition of P being a normal subgroup of G. It follows that P is the unique CeeLo P subgroup of G. Then, if alpha is an automorphism of G, alpha of P is a subgroup of G, and it's of order P. Has the same, it's the same size as our, as our subgroup P. In other words, alpha of P is a CeeLo P subgroup of G. But we've just shown that G has a unique CeeLo P subgroup for the prime P. Therefore, alpha of P has to equal P by star here. What this says is, is that every automorphism of G fixes the subgroup P of G. In other words, P is characteristic in G. In the next video, amongst other things, we will show that unlike for normal subgroups, the property of a subgroup being characteristic is transitive.